making some <coughs> delicious breakfast. Yay! Yeah. I think we're gonna make some waffles. Let's get them off our hands, of course. And I got a little rubber ducky soap. Oh yeah, that is soap. I thought Emmy might have been lying to me earlier. Oh yeah, this is Matt and Emmy show. <laughs> I don't think I did that yet. What's wrong with me? Don't worry, you saw the theme song. Okay. Let me wash my hands first. Sorry, guys. Comment down below if you've ever made homemade waffles. Yeah. So we are going to be doing 12 to 14. Sorry, the T thing is going off. Of course, when I start the video again. Okay, um, so we're doing 12 to 14. So that's gonna be two cups of mix. There we go. And we need one and one third cup of cold water. So first I'll, wait, what do I have so far? one cup and then I'll get one more third. Okay, so I'm gonna pour in the pancake mix first. And now goes the water. Yeah, okay, so I need to get one more third. Yeah, and I'll be right back. So I got one more third, this should be, yeah, that's one more third, okay. Um, let's see, do I have a mixer? Oh, come on. Ima? Where's the mixing stuff? Ima? Mixing. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> but there's our bag. Let's show it. Like, there's the batter. Yeah. There it is. So let me mix. Oh, my God. Big, big mix. Wait, mix. What? Okay, I'll do this heavy ish kid sized one. <laughs> How many stirs do I have to do? This is watery. Take two minutes. Do not over mix it. Oh, no, wait. Mix it. No, you have to mix it really good, then let it sit two minutes. Oh, I'm very tired. Emmy. Let's just say it's not mixed well enough yet. Okay. It's mixed pretty well. You guys. Oops. Okay. You guys tell me what you're thinking. I think that looks better than the first time it looked when it was just poured in there. How's that looking? Nothing? Okay. Okay. How is it? Lumpy. Lumpy. Okay, you guys did see the lumps. Okay, I'm just gonna finish mixing this and then we'll get right back to this. So I just finished mixing and um, I'm going to let it sit for two minutes. Okay, so um, we looked at the waffle recipe because we were doing the pancake recipe and it's the same thing because it probably only makes like a couple waffles with the 
12 to 14 pancakes, but they said add um, two teaspoons, right? Two tablespoons. Oh, two tablespoons of vegetable oil. So we just gotta add those in, and then does it have to sit again? You have to mix it really well, and then it just sits. Okay. That's it. Okay, well, it looks like I gotta mix that again. <laughs> Enigma, here we go. Whoa, the batter looks weird. Come check, oh, come on. Just come check this out, it's just, that's weird. Looks like something's trying to like separate the batter kind of. What is going on? Oh, by the way, we put some bacon in the pan. By the oven. <laughs> okay, so yeah, let's go. So while we're waiting for the waffle maker to heat up. Oh yeah, my baby doll's in the Um, we. I'm going to be showing you how I make my famous fruit yogurt bowl. But I'm gonna be right back to put her down. Okay. <laughs> um. So I start by getting some plain or honey. Greek yogurt, and I plop just maybe two or three scoops in a bowl. Sorry, this is a brand new thing. One, two. I'm making two. One, two. And so it's your choice of which type you'd like to make. I like making myself um, blackberry fruit bowl, um, but Emmy likes me making her um, raspberry fruit bowl. So, I'll show you how I do that. Just, I need to grab this now. I have the fruits and we can get started. So, I'll have the blue bowl. So, I like to start with like three blackberries in mine and four raspberries in hers. The mushiest kinds are the best because you're going to be mushing these fruit up. This, this fruit up. Okay, um, I need two spoons. So, I can go over here. And let's start mashing. I'm gonna mash hers up first. And she has four raspberries. I have three blackberries. Just keep mashing them up. And it will kind of dye your yogurt a little bit, but it's all natural, so it's okay. And then, depending on you, you'll add more of how much you'd like. I'm gonna add two more for her right now. And see how it looks. Cause she likes hers kind of pinky. Mine, I don't really care. I don't think it really dyes it. I can't remember, I haven't made this in like a month. So, <laughs> okay, I'm gonna add two more of hers. By the way guys, it'd be better if you use a little bit older blackberries because they're really really hard to mush but like raspberries they'll be like perfect because like here I do so there's that I'll show you a little bit afterwards so I think that may be enough um, and then I smooth it out I put this inside sorry it's a fork and then I add two on top and then I sprinkle some cinnamon or cocoa powder on top, but I'll do that at the end. Now we're gonna do mine. Oh, and yum, you might yum, wanna yum. mash with a fork these blackberries. Ooh, I guess this does die a lot. It makes it look purple. It's cool. Okay, as you can tell, I'm, I'm kinda having a hard time mashing these, so I'm gonna need to add mushier ones. Here's a softish one. And three, two more soft ones. Okay, just gonna mash those up. Now the blackberries won't totally mash them unless like you're very, very patient with them and let like 10 minutes of mashing go along. But I'm just gonna mix these up and mash them a little bit until um, the color is totally on there. 
you want to tell that like it looks dyed, but like it's totally natural. Um, <laughs> eyelash. Okay. Oh yeah. Where's that? My hair. <laughs> okay. And then you're gonna want to smooth up the top. Just like ow. Nothing. Um, just like so. And then you'll take your fork or spoon, whatever you choose, and then you'll put two little blackberries on top and um, I'll show you what these look like when I sprinkle so the cocoa powder is what I'm gonna do today so and now I have my cocoa powder yeah and I'm going to just sprinkle so oh sorry I'm not a left hand person and you're just gonna sprinkle just a tad on top I'm a really bad lefty okay so that should be fine if you want to with your little um treat you made there um you could add like oats in it i've done that once but i forgot to today in my blackberry one i only add in the blackberry not this one because this one is um oh i have delicious granola that your sister can't get <laughs> um this one was inspired by emmy because she didn't really want anything on it Really just the raspberries, the Greek yogurt, and the cocoa powder sprinkled on top. But um, this one was made, like, inspired by me. And I put, like, raw oats, like oatmeal, raw, of being cooked in the microwave. And, like, I put it in there with the blackberries, the honey Greek yogurt for both, and the cocoa powder. So that's how I, I just make these. So, um... I think it's time to do Oh, hey, okay, guys! It says ready. But you're not showing them face. All right. you're, you're just showing your face, Natalie. I know. Okay, see? Look how hot Oh, it's hot. And here's here's this, Tom. She so can how do much this. do we pour? Is uh, that much? One, one scoopful. Wait, yeah. So, so the bowl is right there, and we put just one smallish scoop into it. That's barely anything. Yep. There we go. Looks like it will be. Hello. Here is Grandpa, Poppy, Natalie, and Emily checking out the newly made waffles and bacon mm -hmm. in our waffle maker. And they're going to be so yummy. Oh. Yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum, yum. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.